Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can use Cockpit to manage your Linux machines. Um, Cockpit is kind of a nice kind of uh, software that you can just install on your server and it will open up a kind of graphical user interface that you can get to through the through the browser um, to kind of just do some stuff on your systems without needing to actually like be on the system or if you have a server that doesn't have a GUI and you want to just you know be able to click around things um, this is kind of a nice alternative to use so this video is also sponsored by me myself and I so if you enjoy my content or want to sponsor me or send me some free swag let me know my emails in the description below so let's get started guys all right so um, we can open a browser and we can look up Cockpit Linux here to kind of give you kind of a big high level overview of the Cockpit project that um, has been created. Um, so essentially, if you're new to Linux, familiar with Linux, or even experts with Linux that you want to use to manage systems, um, this is kind of how it looks. Um, but really, we're going to go in here and actually go to the installation guide so we can show you how you can install it on your machine uh, and then use it in certain ways. So um, up here, there's an install here. Um, obviously, the browsers they recommend is, you know, the basic ones that, you know, mainstream ones, um, just make sure that they're up to date. Um, obviously, I should probably update mine because this is update, but we'll ignore that for now and I'll update it later. So, um, but if you keep on scrolling down, you got an installation and setup. So um, we're running Oracle Linux, but it's really close to like CentOS. So we're going to view the CentOS instructions, but there are other instructions too for other distributions in case you have a different one. Um, most likely you guys are probably either running like Ubuntu over here or um, maybe a Debian instance, but um, you should be able to hopefully find yours there. Um, it should be very similar. So we can see it's very simple. You got three steps here. Um, the third step we don't even need to do for our home lab because we just turned off the firewall, so we don't even need to add it. But if you still have the firewall on, which is a good practice, you should be able to do this to actually uh, add the cockpit service to your firewall to allow in. So, but you can see it's a pretty simple install. Install cockpit and enable it and run it. So what we'll do here is log into one of our servers at Fireshare, and this was probably, this was our latest server that we created here, so, and then pretty much just follow the instructions, so yum, install cockpit, I'm, oh, gotta spell it right, cockpit, and then hyphen y, the hyphen y just automatically means, yeah, I'm gonna just install it, I don't need a prompt for it, essentially, so we'll let that install, um, 48, about 48 packages to be installed, which isn't actually that bad. Um, so we'll give that a few seconds here. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of other, um, it's, it's pretty much all very simple in, in all these. Um, the one thing to note, and it tells you at the very top, is that you can access it via HTTPS. Once it's installed and enabled, you can access it via HTTPS, the IP address of the machine, on 9090. So that's something to note. Um, so what we'll do here is go back to the CentOS, view instructions. We're going to copy the second command, paste that. Nope, give it a second. Copy, paste. There we go. And then we should be all set because I don't have the firewall stuff. My firewall stuff is turned off, so um, I won't need to run this. But if you did have yours, just turn it on. So, but now we can go to HTTPS, and I have DNS shit set up on this, so I just do dragon.local dot local ninety ninety. Um, the connection is not. It, it will always say this because the cert here is a self signed cert, um, essentially. So it's my computer doesn't is invalidated, but it's totally fine. Don't don't sweat it too much. Um, then we'll proceed, and you can see you get something like this. Um, mine is an Oracle Linux service, so that's why it says Oracle Linux. If you had something else, it would probably say whatever type of server you have. So your login options is essentially like when you, when I SSH the machine, I, I SSH as root with a password. That's essentially the same thing you do here. You just type in the user and password. Then you kind of get a little nice interface here that tells you, you know, configuration, system instance, usage, health checks, stuff like that. You can even reboot or shut down the instance from here, which essentially will just run like the reboot or shutdown command. Um, but you can see that there are other things over here. So you can review logs um, and other things um, as they kind of come in. So there's networking, you can see your interfaces, you can create a VLAN, you can add a bridge. So if you're not as comfortable making, you know, network stuff or update network changes in the 
uh, as I said, session, you can actually edit it here. Um, you can actually edit stuff like here. We can edit the DNS IP address. We can actually edit it right here, which is super nice for those who are more GUI interface. You can create new users and groups, uh, services, and things like that. So it's actually quite nice to kind of use to kind of get started. Um, there's also a terminal down here, so you can actually still use the terminal um, while you're using this software. So you don't actually even need this terminal anymore. Um, so you can log in and just go, you know, who am I and stuff like that and actually use the terminal session in this. You can increase the font, you can make it dark, you can make it light, you can make it white, you can go back to black. I mean, there's a lot of options here. You can do a, so you can look at the software updates, see that I have a lot of updates to actually update. You can click the install updates or just install security updates. So this is kind of an easy way to just kind of get things and see a high level overview without needing to know like Linux commands. So um, we can hit install update and essentially it'll just be, be like the update log. So like this is essentially what, when we, you know, do the install, it's doing the same thing and just outputting here and you can just see it kind of go. So that's pretty much it for using Cockpit for Linux. Um, but there's a lot of opportunities to, you know, add, I think there's like some third-party apps and stuff like that that you can install too to even get more functionality. But if you're just getting started with Linux, would highly recommend using this to kind of get a brief overview of the system without needing to know all the Linux commands behind it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.